All right, so let's start um, the next uh, presentation. Uh, Hannah uh, is a founder of, of, uh, of Animal Justice Ukraine, and she's going to tell us what's the situation in Ukraine, which probably all of us know it's a very tough one, but uh, probably we also don't know details, so I think it will be very interesting for us. Um, so maybe I will just give the floor to Hannah and she will tell us everything. Uh, just one more, sorry, just one more remark. Uh, as you know, we are starting five minutes later, but we have just five minutes break after this presentation, so we have to unfortunately finish on time. So if there is no time for questions and answers, as, as always, you can do it during the break. Hi, everyone. Um, thank you uh, that you visited uh, this lecture. Um, so, uh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, my name is Hanna, and uh, I am an animal protection activist from Ukraine. Um, it's uh, uh, a really nice opportunity for me to be here since. Uh, uh, for us, activists from Ukraine, uh, sometimes it's a really big problem to inform foreigners about our problems. So uh, now, today, I will try to uh, explain you uh, not what the situation we have, but actually why do we have this situation. Um, actually, uh, to make a long story short, I'll, I'll just show you a video I make made before, before this lecture about the Ukraine. I think uh, um, actually this video uh, will tell you everything uh, without words. So um, I will just show you and uh, I'm sorry if it uh, may be too shocked for you, but uh, it's really what we have in Ukraine. So I'm sorry it's uh, without music, but uh, uh, on the top you can see the uh, actually um, the reason of the picture so just see it Okay, let's finish on this. I think uh, you, are, uh, you already know that the situation in Ukraine is quite hard. And uh, uh, this was uh, the pictures, uh, just some of the problems. We have problems uh, with abuse cases. It's a lot of cases we have. Uh, we had these problems before uh, Euro uh, 2012. And um, uh, we all afraid that uh, the same situation we will have today before uh, the Eurovision contest in uh, next year. We have a problem of um, uh, totally uh, illegal uh, using of animals in entertainment sphere. Actually, um, all um, the legislation we have in this sphere, uh, it is not maintained by everyone. It, it, it exists just on the paper. Uh, so, uh, let's try just represent you one of the main issues. Uh, first of our main problems we have, it's a large number of abuse cases. Uh, actually, why do we have these abuse cases? Uh, I mean abuse cases not uh, just on the streets or uh, animals and entertainment sphere. Uh, actually, it, it concerns all the animals, home animals, homeless animals, animals in the farm, living stock, and so on and so forth. Uh, 
uh, do we have special norm in our legislation which prohibited this? Yes, we do. Uh, we have criminal code, we have uh, law of Ukraine on animal protection, uh, but it doesn't work. Uh, why it doesn't work? Uh, first of all, to my mind, uh, this is our mentality. Uh, now we have uh, uh, a great number of uh, cases uh, in our police. We just, uh, we just uh, ended by the register of the claim. So uh, when you, uh, for example, see the uh, abuse case, you just come to police ask policemen to register this case and to do something. But policeman, uh, it will be very uh, good if he just uh, made the resolution that it is registered. And that's it. No actions will, uh, may, will be made to resolve this case. Uh, the connection, uh, it is connected with uh, dog hunters. I don't know whether you have this problem in Europe, I think no, but for post-Soviet countries, for Ukraine uh, as well, it's a great problem. Who is who they are? The hunters, uh, for your understanding, this is a group of people who, um, uh, this is their, um, I, I have, I don't um, have to call this like fun, but um, they just uh, catch animals, torture, kill them, and find, f f watch, the, watch this in internet. And uh, when we try to find with them, uh, activists, I mean, uh, it's even a great danger for us since um, we all know that dog hunters are supported. They are supported by a government, and uh, if you will ask me whether we have the proofs, uh, we don't have official proofs since it is impossible to get them. Uh, but uh, we can make uh, this like a logical conclusion. Uh, for example, uh, dog hunters is a group of people, something about 20, 30 people who just have their accounts in the internet, their sites, forums, and actually cooperate one with each other. Uh, but uh, uh, it's not a problem for them to hack any animal protection activist site. Uh, it's not a problem for them uh, to find money uh, for weapon to kill animals. It's not a problem for them not to be accused for anything, not just abuse of animals, but abuse of people. Uh, and actually nothing is problem for them. But when animal protection activists try to oppose them somehow, uh, very often it ends badly. Uh, you have uh, seen at the video Shelter Erson. This Erson uh, was uh, this year and more than 70 uh, animals were burned alive. Uh, I assume that uh, Ersonists understood that there could be people in the shelter, but they don't afraid anything. So uh, we assume that, I, that they are supported by uh, the government and by the police forces. For what purposes? Um, first of all, for the purpose of uh, internal destabilization of the situation. Uh, one of the proofs, another proof, that uh, dog hunters uh, always exactly know the places of uh, living of the animals. These places, uh, always known by activists who protect animals, who feed them, uh, protect them, uh, provide medical help. But there is a strict rule in our network not to publish the place. So if you are an activist and you protect some group of people, uh, just not to publish the place. Uh, if you need help, uh, make an announcement that I need help. There is uh, such a group of uh, animals, but don't publish the place. Uh, notwithstanding these facts, the hunters always does know these exact places. For your imagination, Kiev is a city with more than 5 million people. How can the group of 20 or 30 people know all this information? Of course, they are provided by this. Uh, the third problem we have uh, is a lack of uh, support. Animal protection activists in Ukraine actually are not supported by everyone. Uh, I don't even talk about the government, uh, it's a separate question. I talk about the society. 
uh, it's really hard in our society to find support since um, when we talk about some uh, single cases, yeah, of, of, of course, uh, society say, you feed animals, okay, you're a great guy. But if it's your uh, regular activity, um, actually you will be seemed like a very strange person in our society. And uh, without this support, it's really hard since uh, animal protection activists need uh, financial support for animals. Uh, animal protection activists uh, need to uh, organize meetings. For example, uh, last uh, uh, week we have a meeting near the police concerning even the cooperation between the police and dog hunters. Uh, just 15 persons were present. So society almost never uh, support this and almost never interested. And this is a great problem since uh, when uh, the society is not uh, uh, like uh, identified who's, who are right and who are not. It's really easy to uh, uh, make uh, many um, manipulations with the society and the hunters use it. They play the society and they say, uh, we're not killers, we're great guys. Uh, you have many aggressive dog near your house. They spread diseases and we protect the society from this. And uh, as opposed to him, we see the animal protection activists who say uh, it's not right to kill animals. We try to protect them. And the regular person just see, so here is a great guy. He helped me. What does she does? But uh, this is the hunter. Okay, he killed, but what shall we do in this situation? You see, and this is a great problem, another problem. Uh, the fourth, um, uncontrolled number of animals on the streets. Uh, I always repeated that in order to resolve the problem, we need uh, just to take all the animals from the streets. We cannot protect them there. And uh, just tomorrow we had even uh, a very uh, difficult situation when the uh, animals were poisoned even in a shelter. So uh, when we talk about the animals in the streets, they are not protected at all. Uh, in order to resolve the situation, we need to take them from the streets, totally. But uh, how can we make this if uh, there is uncontrolled breeding and there is the lack of actually state program how to control this population? Um, our state just... Um, uh, I don't know how to say, it's just uh, stand back over these problems. Uh, government sees that there is society and there is the hunters. Society don't want this n great number. And there is the hunters who uh, actually uh, resolve this problem. Uh, can we talk about the ethic in this case? I don't, I don't think so. Uh, abuse of animals in entertainment, zoo, circus, farms, it's another big uh, deal. Uh, we have special norms in our legislation which uh, prohibit uh, traveling zoos, traveling imaginaries, uh, which uh, prohibit actually abuse uh, treatment of animals everywhere. But actually, one more time, it doesn't work. Uh, this year, one more example, we had uh, a problem with uh, a traveling zoo. Uh, actually, such uh, businessman, if uh, I can call him uh, like this, uh, he uses animals, but uh, uh, he was under pressure of activists. Activists uh, um, asked him to uh, um, to make uh, the better prov provisions for his uh, circumstances for his animals. Uh, besides. B as opposed to this, he just left them, abandoned them. And all the activists were exactly in panic. Uh, you can imagine the situation that uh, far from the towns, far from the st uh, cities, there is a cages with lions, bears, uh, and other big animals. This is not a cat, this is not a dog, and uh, what, sh what shall we do? Uh, we asked uh, uh, zoos to uh, take over these animals, and fortunately, uh, one zoo uh, 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 take animals to uh, to them. 
uh, but at the same time, the director of the zoo said that, uh, okay, I'll do this for you, but uh, you know that there is a big problem for me can appear since, uh, yes, he abandoned, this over he's abandoned, but he actually is an owner. And if uh, in, uh, in a year even he will come and say, you take over my property, uh, I will face with a big problem. And six, uh, gaps in registration system. Uh, we have a reg special registration system, so if you buy an animal, you need to go and register it. You have this obligation. And you have even a responsibility if you will not do this. But in practice, who will control this? No one. Police cannot come to your house, knock in your door and tell, show me your registration certificate. And even if he will do this, a uh, person can sue uh, him in the court and will exactly win this case. So um, this is the problems, but uh, now let's talk about the reason of these problems. Uh, for my, to my mind, the main, the lack of ownership responsibility. Uh, owner uh, actually can do everything he wants to his animal. There is uh, this weak, very weak law on animal protection in Ukraine, but uh, there is no uh, control body, there is no animal control service in Ukraine, and uh, no one can uh, look after the treatment uh, of this animal. Uh, owner can uh, um, leave animal without meal, uh, without water, uh, abandon animal and uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, there is a responsibility in criminal court and administrative court, but uh, if we will talk about administrative procedure, uh, we don't have even a special body which is authorized to fix legally this fact. So if you call the police, police uh, will say you, I need to make this protocol, legal protocol, which will fix the fact but I'm not authorized to sign it. So how will you prove this in the court? It's a big gap and uh, now we try to uh, fix it since uh, uh, me and uh, another activist, we uh, draft um, legislative act, the project of legislative act, and we really hope that uh, uh, it will be passed by our parliament and uh, uh, it will influence the situation, but we are not sure about that. Uh, the second reason is uncontrolled breeding. Uh, notwithstanding the fact that we have a great number of animals in the streets, we still do have uh, many businessmen who breed animals for money, for earning money. Uh, but um, when can you sell your animal? When it is small and cute, yeah? Uh, who does want a big animal. Everyone wants a small puppy or tiny kitten. Uh, when the, uh, the animal grows up, it's just or killed or abandoned. One more time. And no responsibility for this. Uh, I proposed to uh, prohibit the breeding for even uh, two or three years. I believe that uh, this uh, will change the situation somehow, but unfortunately I'm not supported. Everyone says that it's too strict, uh, all the prohibitions uh, will not be successful, and we need just a registration system. But uh, we already have this and it doesn't work. The third uh, problem is the corruption. Uh, how it works? I will just simply explain you the scheme. Uh, state budget uh, provide money for the animal control. So, state budget issue money for uh, control the number of animals in the streets. But this money uh, issued by the local authorities, local administrative bodies. And uh, these bodies issued this money to the shelter, municipal shelter. What goes next? This money actually divided between local officials and officials of this shelter. How is it uh, 
shown in reported accounting reported it is shown uh, like uh, it was used but after that animals uh, died be uh, because of illnesses or because of the age and so on and so forth at the same time you have issued money and you have no animals in the shelter or animals which uh, every day dying at the shelter what shall you do as a director for example of this administrative shelter or as official of administrative body you need to show the society that the system it works but society sees thousands of animals at the streets what shall you do you shall kill them administrative local administrative they use uh, municipal services municipal services who just uh, clean the streets and sometimes they are give this uh, ordinance to kill the animals and one more time dog hunters so we have we have this like a circle everyone every part every participant in a circle is connected with any other so um, you see now how can we accuse dog hunters if they are um, actually one of the part of this corruption scheme everything will be destroyed all the scheme will be destroyed another proof of this uh, one more time this is not officially proved but when animal protection activists try to find these proofs of killnesses they uh, immediately take animal poisoned for example from the streets and bring it to the uh, special uh, experiment uh, organization uh, which has uh, experts who uh, shall give the resolution whether the animal was killed or died because of natural death and almost never animal protection activists uh, get the resolution that animal was killed even if there is exact proof that uh, animal was poisoned photo proofs video proofs witnesses never and it is even hard to find an expert when you come to this organization um, expert is in holidays expert is ill um, yes he is here but uh, he is left somewhere he will come back in a few hours but uh, for your understanding when we talk about the poisoning every minute uh, is valid every minute is valid to prove that there was a poison itself um, the fourth a lack of government's responsibility and absence of animal control service uh, nowadays we have several authorities who are responsible for animals uh, mostly these responsibilities divided between uh, mu ministry of municipal service a ministry of uh, environment uh, affairs and uh, Ministry of Internal Affairs police but since it is divided uh, no one is responsible one of our activists even uh, made a few requests to the mi ministry and informed them that uh, there is animals in the streets please do something and she got an answer that it's no, not our responsibility from everyone so who is responsible actually no one but you issued money for this for for what for whom not understandable and the last uh, some legislative gaps uh, i made it as a last reason since it's really last reason our legislation uh, it has some gaps but but it's not bad anyway we have um, obligatory registration uh, we have some obligatory circumstances for animal treatment uh, we have responsibility even criminal liability for abuse uh, but it doesn't work because some uh, very, very minor gaps mostly it, wor it doesn't work because of our mentality so uh, now um, let's just see the main points i don't make it very uh, heavy uh, for understandable just the main points for you so of course animal is an object in ukraine so owner can uh, treat it as way as he think is right we have special law on animal protection from abuse 
and it stipulates some main issues, something like uh, uh, you need to provide medicine help, you need to feed animal, you need to provide some uh, living uh, circumstances, and actually this is it. We have responsibility for abuse in criminal court and responsibility for throwing out animals to the streets in administrative court. Uh, but it doesn't work because it doesn't work the system of registration. How can we prove that owner throwing out his animal when he is not registered? No, nothing. We, we cannot uh, find even the way how to do this. Uh, fifth, responsibility for uncontrolled breeding of home animals. It also exists in our legislation. Uh, there is a prohibition, so the owner is prohibited to uh, uh, let his animal breed if he knows that he cannot uh, maintain and keep these animals. Uh, and there is a responsibility in law, but one more time, it doesn't work. And obligatory registration and identification as we told. Uh, we have obligatory identification for farm animals, and it really works. But as opposed to homeless animals, nothing changed. Now, uh, we already talked about this. Why doesn't it work? Police has no this right to fix this fact, and actually no one does. And without uh, fixing legally the fact of uh, criminal offense, you can now uh, proceed this case in the court. So you can come to the court with witnesses, uh, but uh, the person who abuse will come and say, just a second, police is not authorized. So it's the same like, uh, uh, I don't know, like, uh, the environmental control will, will sign it. This, this is unvalid. Uh, absence of control whether the owner has registered or not. We have already uh, talked about this. And uh, mentality. Unfortunately, the life of animal um, it's, is not evaluated like a human life in the society. Therefore, I think we have these problems. Now we have... Um, some proposition to make uh, another statute of animal, not an object but living being in our legislation. Whether it will be supported or not, I don't know. I really hope so, and if it will, I hope that we will change uh, the whole system. But now we can even uh, protect the animal, because what shall we protect? An object, a table, a chair, an animal is the same. It cannot be protected. We can protect the owner and his right for his animal. So this is the case. Um, now I would like to tell you about how can we fix the situation. Uh, definitely the situation can be fixed uh, in two ways and uh, these two ways shall be uh, like uh, simultaneously proceeded. Legislative changes and uh, reducing the numbers of homeless animals. So um, I will start from the legislation changes. What do we have now? Uh, now if owner wants, for example, to buy or to get animal from the shelter, he just come to the shop or to the shelter, pay money or without money and take it. Uh, he need to register it, but if he will not do this, uh, he will not be punished. We need to implement this strict mechanism of registration and responsibility. How shall it work? Uh, to my mind, uh, we shall accredit it or entities, shops, shelter, maybe special breeding organization. Actually, everyone, every place where you can get the animal for this registration. Uh, how shall we uh, state this procedure? Uh, it's another question and it is, it is possible, everything is possible. Of course, we will have the problems for shelters and shops to purchase uh, this uh, uh, special equipment to uh, have access to the register, but uh, I am sure that uh, it's not a problem to resolve this. And 
the system shell works uh, as uh, as following owner come to the shop or to the shelter uh, show that uh, he has financial uh, ability to treat, to keep the animal for example provide his some special certificate that uh, he is not jobless and he has money and at the same time he is provided with information that you will be registered and uh, if you will for example throughout your animal special bodies will find animal and will identify you as an owner and after that you will be not able to uh, take one more animal ever uh, when i tell this to my colleagues even um, they are not support me they say that it's really too strict responsibility and uh, there no one will actually support and agree with that uh, but I th to my mind um, it's really one responsibility which can be um, which can influence the people's mind you know administrative fine for throwing out uh, now in Ukraine it's something about 50 70 dollars is it a case for a person to pay this fine and in a month take another uh, animal play with it and after throughout I don't think that it's a big amount uh, yes we can uh, make it bigger but uh, in this in this case we make uh, we shall make bigger the fines for any other fences and this is very uh, heavy very difficult um, the second uh, that um, we need to uh,
animal ID, special organization in Ukraine, and volunteers count animals in big cities in uh, Kiev, Odessa, Kharkiv, and etc. And uh, I took uh, participants in Kiev, and they are really great guys. They actually contain their IT and their volunteers for animals, and this is really great. But what shall we do after? After we have this uh, number, for example, I don't know, uh, 100 or 1,000 or whatever, we need to have shelter register for what? We need to understand how much animals from this uh, general number can be placed to the shelter. The third, national wide campaign for adoption. Nowadays, uh, how adoption looks like. Activists find animals, uh, wash it, clean it, uh, provide medical treatment, make cute haircut, make announcement on Facebook, and try to find please someone adopt a true animal. But uh, it's not the case since you know one person or even a group of persons they are restricted in their resources. We need really national nationwide campaign. Campaign on TV shows, campaign which is supported by government, campaign which is supported by society. So, for example, if we see the announcement in Facebook, it's one case. Another case when uh, after the news, every, every evening, for example, you see an announcement that uh, here is a national wide, wide campaign. We count an animals. We have this and this number. Uh, all the animals Stimulized and uh, vaccinated. Please come at that time to that place and uh, choose everything. I think that it will uh, that it will have a really great influence to the people. And uh, beside, instead of going to the shop and pay money, people will uh, find really cute and nice animal for free. And the last, after this. Uh, placing at the shelter and this adoption campaign, I think that we <coughs> will have some number of animals. What shall we do? We have nothing to do, just let them at the street again. But they will be sterilized and they will be vaccinated. This means that the next year we have less and less and less number. Of course, uh, some animals will be thrown out by the owners every year. But I think if we will uh, implement all this in complex, I think something about uh, three, four, five years we will change the situation uh, to the opposite. Maybe even uh, really it will be a problem to find 